Stepped up to the house party, kinda faded. Jay's on mask on, yeah, I'm kinda facing. You stood out, Ali Berica, amazing. Too funny, man. We have a good time recording oh, this show. Oh, man. Man, if you guys could see the behind the scenes, you would. I think you'd be I laughing too. Crazy. Tell them where to go see that at, man. Dre got another foul on the play. Says, <laughs> said something yeah, kind of crazy. I'm pretty much out the game. Out the Kingsman game. Radio. Yeah, but again, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Tonight, we had some things we wanted to talk about. Um, what were the subjects we wanted to kind of tackle? So, I saw on um, Instagram, it was a young woman and her husband. I didn't realize who it was because the first thing that I saw was a woman in a seat through ground. I don't believe, I don't know what award show it was, but it was um, Oscars. Yeah, I mean, at that point, I didn't. It really didn't matter because all I saw was a woman, pretty much, butt naked. So I asked. I, there's a couple of questions I have tonight, so mm-hmm. we can get into that. And then there was another one, though. Well, let's talk those questions. Yes. What questions you have? Oh Go yeah. Okay. That. First question is. <laughs> And I already know the answer, but would you, any of you guys allow your wife? Oh, you know what? You know what kind of age we're living in where we can't say allow. So let me let me refrain that. Be comfortable with. Be comfortable with, right? Your wife, not your girlfriend, your wife, walking out in something that is pretty much see-through, showing her entire ass. Bruh. Was her nipple showing? Excuse me. No, I'm she had them covered, but her breasts, her bare breasts were showing. You could see all of her breasts, just her but nipples. she covered? Her okay, the areolas were. was covered. Yeah. So you. anyway, what y'all think? Who would you guys, how would you guys feel? Would that make you, uh, what's the word that, that, what's the buzzword? Um, insecure? Come You're on, insecure man. if you don't like this. Bruh. Just want to let you know. Ron, HD. So me? So yeah. I take yeah. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't allow my wife. No, let's. let's oh, sorry. Uh-oh, I wouldn't uh-oh. feel comfortable with my wife wearing something like that. Um, that means you're insecure, bro. Nah, I just. Uh, you know, some things are left. You know, it's for for you. I love for that. for me. You know. Um, now, what, Ron, I'm interrupt you. Some would argue that. What's the difference between her just wearing a bathing suit and putting a picture online that she, you know, she's wearing the bath wearing a bathing suit. That's a good question. That is a good question. But you could wear bathing suits still and have like a, not a fleece, but there's some things that they could cover up. Yeah, like a cover up. And then when it's just me and you, I get to see what is under that cover. Goodness of God. You know what I mean? I mean, that's what I would hope. I, I just don't, I never, I don't know of any man that feels comfortable with his wife being gawked at or, you know. Because, again, there's some things you just can't control. If you saw the picture, he can look very happy himself. Not that, We don't know if he was. I'm not I'm not saying I mean, he wasn't. Um, believe it or not, a lot of men, some men are into that, of showing off yeah. what their wife has. Yeah. If he's comfortable with it, I'm That's cool. I, I'm cool. If you like it, I love it. Yeah. You know, it's just, you know. That's true. I think the question is more towards, Sierra, why would you feel... Why do you feel like you need to do... I mean, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Mm. Right? Oh, yeah, um, everybody's Nobody. Gone. We're not misogynistic. We're none of those things. But we're just asking questions behind... You know what? Let's, instead of being misogynistic, let's be misandronistic. The hatred of men. Yeah, let's do Misandry. that. Mm-hmm. I don't think anybody will have a problem with that. They don't. No. Everything, everything about a man right now is toxic. Let, you know what? Sierra, you go, girl. <laughs> You wear that dress. <laughs> you wear it like, in fact, I think next year, you should take off the, <laughs> the share thing and just wear what's under that. Nobody, Which is nothing. I mean. Well, she had a bottom. She had bottoms on. She did? And some heels. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't even notice that. I mean, listen, man. I just saw cheeks. Bruh. Le- it it works. We, we're year, talking about her. Next year, leave <laughs> Russell at home. Huh? <laughs> we're talking about it. It worked. I mean... We're men. We're that's, gonna be attracted right. to, and that's what they. That's that's the shit they're looking for. They, she I want to. I want people buzz. to talk about me. I want to be in headlines. I want to. You know, it's a, uh, it's, it a it's a plan see, behind it. I know we said that he's okay with it, right? And it really doesn't matter what we think because that's his wife. Yeah. He's obviously comfortable with that. Facts. Um, but you did say a key word: some. 
the majority of men would not be okay with their wife being shown in that manner. I mean, again, I'm um, playing devil's advocate, but I, I would not be comfortable. But what's the difference? Some of these, like I said, some of the bathing suits that are worn um, out now are very revealing. Don't cover much of your behind. It's called time and, and a place. Th- th- and that was, that's what I was going to It's time and a place. Would you realize but that? But you guys, guess what? You guys can't tell a woman where they can wear with their clothes. You, you guys are being misogynistic. <laughs> you guys, in fact, you know what you are? You guys are insecure. And I don't know can't. where this is going, guys. Because, but, uh, <laughs> look at, look, I, it's, I'm shout out to him. That. He's comfortable with his wife looking like that. Yeah, yeah. You like it. I love it. Man. Yeah. Right, Matter of fact, it. we all loved it. <laughs> we all loved it. We did. So, but you know what's not funny? The Chris Rock special. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, I tried to watch it, bro. I fell asleep. Yo, I heard everybody's like saying that shit is whack. I haven't watched it yet, but I, I, I wanted to support another black man, <clears throat> especially because he got emasculated and embarrassed in on the Oscars, and he was just doing his job. He got smacked like a Schlack. mother. Yeah, so he got sixty That's million for it for Netflix. So I mean, so get your me, bag, so brother. I guess the big question is, would you get slapped for sixty million? Yep. yep. So I think everybody. But you know what? I think everybody would say that before the fact. But if somebody did not tell you you're going to get $60 million and they just slapped you and they said, oh, we're going to give you $60 that's, million I mean, now. That's a different thing. Yeah, that's, that's a different question talk. you're asking now. <laughs> yeah, see? And I think that what makes the situation a little di- different. I don't think Chris Rock knew. But you know what? We're living in a day and age where I was just thinking, I'm like, what if they plan this whole thing? Bruh. But nah, Will Smith wouldn't do that to his career. Will Smith, I think, last week we were talking about John Morant and his situation. I think that Will Smith may struggle from some mental health issues. The way he responded to that in the defense of his wife, I think... Defense of his wife? In the defense of his wife, was what he was saying, you know, keep my wife's name out of your mouth. It's honorable what he was doing. But he didn't go about it in the most honorable way. I don't think none of that was honorable. What? I don't think what anything he did was honorable. Standing up for his wife? What? Standing up for a comedian? Just doing comedy? I get yeah, like, but, but listen, listen, listen. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wow. I didn't in know his, you wait, felt wait. like this, bro. In his, mind, in his mind, he was defending his wife's oh, name. Oh, well, we agree with that. Yeah, okay. That's what I'm saying. In his mind. But you but said I think honor, that which means... He was, because when you talk to Will Smith, you watch the... Interviews afterwards, he felt as though his wife's honor was being challenged no. by some of the jokes that Chris Rock was telling and had said over the time. So he was saying, "I'm tired of it. Keep my names, my excuse me, keep my wife's name out of your mouth." So, and, and this goes back to I think Will has some issues. He does have some issues. He probably needed to deal with in regards to that because to react like that in that space at that time showed that there was a disconnect for me. So I think. Yeah, I agree. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I do. Now, yeah, I guess so. another question is, he is defending the honor of a woman who put him on Front Street. You mean that's what he's thinking he's doing? Yeah, but I'm no. What she you put agree? him on Front Street with the whole August Alcina stuff. So let me ask you this real quick. Do you think it was honorable of what he did? Do you think? No. no okay. No, I just wanted no, to make that clear. No, no, no. Because, you know, I, do I understand why he did what he did? Not really. <laughs> Really, because for you, you chose that woman. So I have no sympathy for you. Even though she emasculated you on live television and told you I'm sleeping with our son's friend. How do you feel, Will? Bruh. My man broke down in tears. <clears throat> Back to Chris Rock. <laughs> it wasn't funny. It wasn't. Although it took us a year to find out what Chris Rock thought. Um, Dills, did you watch it? No, nah, I didn't get a chance to watch it yet. I actually might go out. I want to hear what did he? You said he addressed the whole. He he. Situation? Okay, so can I be honest with you guys? Yeah, I, I fell, fell asleep. asleep too. It got to the point where I was like, okay, I haven't. I'm. I'm I think the time went on for like 10, 15 minutes, and I didn't laugh not one time. <laughs> so I said too long. Yeah. So honestly, I was really watching to see his response to what happened with Will and Jada, which. I really wasn't looking for a funny moment. I was just wanted to hear his response. Well, Chris Rock, I'm glad 
you got your bag. That's yeah. And you survived the slap that was heard around the world in different <laughs> universes. Uh, speaking of which, didn't you say like there's there's some UFO stuff going on? So you? No. You, heard, you heard that I around see. the world. That's funny. I'm sorry. Y'all seen um, Ashanti posted? I think that was in L.A. <sighs> Yo, it was like these. Y'all, y'all believe in UFOs, bro? Yeah. Bruh. And I, I seen them you, in the you sky. You do? I seen them. Yeah. You, you, you seen them? I seen it on her page. Okay. You see, What did you see on her page? Something that looked like what they call a yeah. UFO? Yeah. So, Zay, you believe that? <laughs> I believe <laughs> Jesus Christ that the almighty back. God... <laughs> more than likely did not create us on this planet and then just go about his business and not do anything else whether or not other life forms that he created are coming here and things that we call unidentifiable flying objects I don't know but we are not alone (laughs) right we're not alone Anyway. So the UFOs could be true. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, guys, we appreciate you guys tapping in. We're gonna yeah. play some more music for you. Get the energy right. Thank you for tuning in. Eight to nine Tuesday nights, only on In the Mix Radio. I'm Pless and Pray. Play. My bad. <laughs> Press and pray. Here we go. Pulled up to the scene with it, and I'm super clean with it. Clean with it. 